Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to learn about the auscultation of lungs. So first of all welcome the patient, introduce himself, then explain the procedure to the patient, how will we uh, going to auscult the lung, then create the condition like uh, room should be warm, then uh, it should be lighted and silent. So first of all ask the patient uh, to remove his clothes. Please remove. Uh, so after taking off the cloth, uh, give position to the patient like uh, if the patient is well then position should be like a uh, standing position upright and we can also uh, take the position like sitting position but if you, uh, the patient is not feeling well then we can uh, lie patient should uh, lie on his back so patient is well so he uh, will escort upright position so first of all uh, clean the stethoscope with a cotton swab or something so for uh, escaltation of the lung the first of all uh, we escalt start escaltation from the uh, supra scapula sorry supra clavicular fossa from our uh, right side then supra clavicular fossa left side then uh, subclavicular fossa right side then left side then we escalt uh, along mid clavicular line uh, second third intercostal space uh, first of all at the right side second third then again to the left Then we escort uh, fourth and fifth intercostal space only right side because on the left side there is a heart. That's why we only escort only right side. So after escorting uh, along the mid clavicular line, then we ask the patient to uh, fold his hand and uh, place it to his back for the escortation of the axillary line. So uh first of all we escalate uh, along there is three lines one is anterior mid axillary line then sorry anterior axillary line mid axillary line and posterior axillary line so first of all we uh, escalate uh, fourth fifth intercostal space along anterior axillary line then left side then again we escort the mid axillary line uh, uh, fourth fifth intercostal space then again to the left fourth fifth <coughs> along mid axillary line Then uh, for uh, posterior axillary line, we escort along 7th, 8th intercostal space. Seventh, eight. Now we turn the patient for the escaltation of the backside. And then uh, uh, patient's hand should be cross and slightly lean. To the forward so uh, first of all we start from right side uh, supra scapular region then left side after supra scapular lesion we uh, escort along the interscapular space so first of all uh, third fourth intercostal space right side then left side then fifth sixth intercostal space first right side then left side <clears throat> then seventh eight
reason we escalate the subscapular region like uh, first of all 8th ninth uh, intercostal space right side then left 8th ninth intercostal space then 10th 11th intercostal space So these, these all are the points of escaltation of lung. So after escaltation of the lungs, uh, all the points, then the step should be uh, differentiate and characterize the main respiratory sound in pathology, like uh, vesicular, uh, bronchial. Then next step should be differentiate and characterize the additional respiratory sound, uh, like wheezing, crepitus, pleural rub. And then correctly evaluate the presented audiogram and at last the interpret the receipt data so this is the all about the of lung thank you for watching